Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in this video, we, uh, I'll be talking about the uh, analysis of Fano dispersion calculation. Okay. So once you have done the Fano dispersion calculation, after that, how to analyze those data? First, go to the analysis window, and in analysis, you just go and select the Fano dispersion. Okay. And in units, you can select either mega electron volt tetrahertz centimeter inverse whatever way you just select no problem generally we take in t terahertz okay now if you want to show the density of state along with that and you can click here otherwise generally we don't take click on view so this is the dispersion uh, this phono dispersion for your system right okay i'll zoom in in the front here right this zero line that is the frontier now you see the, these uh, bands here down in the negative region there are three bands right one is degenerated gamma another is non degenerated so there is a three negative frequency from this we can tell and at gamma you see this triply degenerate right triply degenerate these are the acoustic band acoustic band will be generally triply degenerate at gamma and there will be three and when any of the, these are known as optical bands okay when any of these optical bands is crossing the fermi and coming down it will be responsible for the negative phonons and that negative phonons is uh, giving you the uh, thermal uh, this uh, dynamic instability to your system okay so in this system we have a three negative frequency that we get from uh, this calculation okay how to visualize those negative uh, frequency so first we will do is First, we'll uh, cut this. Cut this. We'll save it. And if before going to that, we have to get the IR, right? So we'll call. Yeah, we'll go. We'll click on the IR spectrum. Import. Yeah. Now go to the tool menu. In the tool menu, you can go and click on vibrational analysis. Here you can click on the calculate. So these are the frequencies. Okay. So here you see these are the degenerate that you have shown in the phono. There was one degenerate negative frequency that corresponds to 158, and there was no degenerate frequency that corresponds to minus 150. So generally in molecules in Gaussian calculation, what we do because of enharmonic uh, approximation, uh, there is some numerical error that happens, and if there is a you know a small negative frequency in your molecule, generally we exclude because of this. Uh, approximation method that we use okay in similarly in materials generally till 70 or 60 we can exclude the negative frequency in molecules similarly till 40 50 we can exclude so but here the negative frequency we are having is more than 100 okay so we have to trace this negative frequency and we need to get the most stable geometry dynamic most stable geometry so just click on this negative frequency click on animation right so you can see the corresponding animal like uh, is corresponding negative frequency that uh, negative frequency belongs to the uh, out of play distortion of this nitrogen right these nitrogens are repelling each other and they are trying to go up and down in the uh, you know the plane so that is because of the uh, out of plane distortion right similarly we have this another negative frequency if you click on this negative frequency you can see this see this belongs to what this also belongs to the out of plane distortion of the molecule but in this case what happens see four of the nitrogen is going in one direction and two are going in another direction okay so systematically it is giving you one kind of so based on my experience i can tell you once you do this you will be getting see a symmetry for your system right because these four nitrogen is going up and these two is going down when you are following this negative frequency will be getting material with cs symmetry there will be a mirror image okay so in this way we can find out the negative frequency now follow this negative frequency by making the another geometry with specific you know these negative uh, frequency to be taken care then you do the geometry optimization again and after doing getting like better geometry do the phonon calculation and prove there is a no negative frequency so in case of no negative frequency whatever will happen the optical uh, phonons that have shown that will be positive 
entirely positive there will be no like phonons dispersion below the fermi level okay means that phonon calculation metabolic part is positive and there is a dynamic stability in your molecular system thank you for watching the videos if you have any doubt related to any of these calculations you can put in the comment box thank you